Hi, this is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do some second development with the Dubot Magician, where we'll be using C++, aka Qt Creator. First of all, there are two steps to this. Make sure you have downloaded Dubot Demo, in case you want to open up your web browser, and then you want to go to dubot.cc. Then, you want to go to Support, Download Center. Scroll down, go to Development Protocol, and download Dubai Demo V2.0. Wait for that to download, and you should get something like this. You want to open it up, let it expand, and then you want to look in here. We want the Dubai Demo 2.0 for Qt, but not that one. We want this one, not 2.0. You don't want any 2.0. Then you want to open up this. But you, it shouldn't open because you don't have Qt. Well, in order to download Qt, you search up Qt Creator. And we want v4.5. Or just download Qt. And you want the open source version. Now you want to click on download. And let it download. Now back here, you want to open up. Qt, not 4.6.0, you want this one, 4.5. Now, let's go back and we'll open it up. Configure the project. And once it configures, you want to wait for it to configure and then press the run button. You should get some errors. That's normal if you're not using Windows. There we go. It says library not found for Dubot DLL, which means you have to go back and find the Mac version or whatever version you're using. So there's Linux, Mac, and Windows. And you want to open up that file and then drag it into Dubot demo for Qt, and you want to replace. Then you want to run again. You should have no problem. Now make sure your Dubot is connected. Right here. Make sure there's a USB cable, and then you want to turn it on. And let it turn green. There we go. Now we want to compress connect. Hmm. If you get that error, you just want to disconnect and reconnect. Try again. Hmm. Then I'll do it on my cable side. Try again. There we go. It connected. No problem. First, let's try Axis version and X plus. You see, it moves as X plus. And there's X minus, and it gets a pose as well. Then you can also do Y minus, Y plus, Z plus, and Z minus. And R plus and R minus are just for the arm, the end effector. And you can also send PTP commands. It gives you that device SM name and information. Wow, isn't that cool? That's cool. That is the QT demo, and in the next video, we will be covering the Python demo. And I'll see you then. Bye.